Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Knowing our numbers. This is the chapter which I have undertaken. The class 6 chapter, the first chapter of mathematics. And if you are willing to prepare right from the basic level, whether you are a school student or you are an aspirant of a government competitive exam, this series of video is going to prove like a gem for all of you because I'll be taking up each and every topic of grade 6 and that, that will be followed by grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, 11 and 12. Already I have bought out three videos. If you have not seen them, please see them in the playlist uh, class 6 practice videos. That is the playlist. So in this video, I am going to take up the fourth topic, which is unit conversions. Unit conversions are everywhere, right? Whether you are calculating weight, or you are calculating volume or you are calculating area or you are calculating distance everywhere you find unit conversions and students tend to make so many mistakes when they fail to convert the units correctly and they get wrong answers so the purpose of this video is to tell you some tricks tips and tricks so that you can convert all units properly and apply them to solve word problems the word problems of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division will be my next topic. And in this topic, the unit conversions will be taken up. And you already know that all these topics will be followed by a practice worksheet. So the fourth practice worksheet is already launched on the website. I'll give you the link in the description box below. And the topic is unit conversions. You will find 60 questions in which you have to convert different units of mass, length and volume. And that will be amazing collection of questions. So you can test yourself. You can download that after you have watched the video. You have followed how to uh, make those conversions. You can go for the practice PDF. Click the link in the description. I tell you about the cost also, you know. You can count the cost on your fingers. It's a single digit number. What else we can ask for? You will not find a better collection of a single concept practice questions anywhere in any textbook or on the internet. 60 questions for each concept is an amazing collection, right? So WhatsApp 9896369963 if you have not taken PDF 1, 2, 3 and now 4. I'll tell you how to go about it. The ebook of short tricks is also there up for grabs 350 short tricks to calculate 10 times faster in that ebook. Reasoning course is already creating waves in the market. Video support, lot of things given free of cost along with those ebooks. So let's see what conversions we are taking up in this video. Let's take the case of distance first. We will take up the case of volume also and we will take up the case of weight also. So if you understand these three, then I think the next three will be easy for you. There are some tips and tricks which you need to remember. See, there are some larger units and there are some smaller units. Every physical quantity has some large units so that if you have to measure large distances like if I have to measure the distance of my place from the national capital, it will be in kilometers, right? It will not be in centimeters or millimeters. So large units are required for distance. It is kilometer. Smaller units like if I have to measure the suppose length of anything like this object, if I have to measure the length of this object, that object will be in centimeters, not in kilometers. So there are smaller units centimeters, millimeters, larger units like kilometers, meters and similarly for weight. If you have a very heavy object, you will measure that in kilograms. If you weigh yourself, the unit is going to be kilograms, right? You don't weigh yourself in grams or milligrams. Grams and milligrams are the smaller units. Likewise, for volume, we have large units like liters, liters, and smaller units and even more larger units like meter cube and smaller units like centimeter cube and millimeter cube. 
so if you understand what are the various large units of a physical quantity and small units of a physical quantity we need to now understand the conversions if you convert a large unit into a small unit like if i want to convert kilometers to centimeters or kilometers to meters or meters to millimeters or kilogram to milligram liters to centimeter cube so i am converting a big unit large unit into a smaller one in that case i always multiply the large unit by something multiply by something so let's call that something as x now what is that something that depends on which unit you are converting into the smaller unit multiplication but when you convert a smaller unit a smaller unit into a large unit a larger one then you divide by a particular factor so when do we multiply and when do we divide this is the important thing which every school student and all those who are preparing for competition should keep in mind the large unit to be converted into smaller unit by multiplying by a factor and then smaller unit to be converted into a large unit by dividing by a factor now let's take some examples i think the concept will be done like this let's talk about 7.8 kilometers to be converted into meters now i know that 1 kilometer has 1000 meters and therefore to convert this large unit into a small unit i will multiply by 1000 which gives me 7800 meters as the converted form of this question you only need to know how many meters are there in a kilometer and you need to know that you are converting a larger unit into a smaller unit so i'll i'll take the other example the uh, example the other way around let's have a small unit now we have say 126 millimeters and i want to convert that into centimeters now see cent millimeter is a very small unit and centimeter is a large unit so obviously i have to divide that by something now i know that 1 cm has 10 mm you must have seen on the scale 1 cm has 10 small units between it so 10 mm so i will divide this by 10 to get my answer in cm so if you divide 126 by 10 you are going to get 12.6 so 12.6 cm is the answer very easy right this works for distance this works for weight also the mass okay so let's take one or two examples of weight then i'll come to volume for weight suppose you have milligrams and i want to convert that into grams or kilograms to be converted into grams now immediately i know that if i convert milligram into gram i am converting a small unit into a larger one and if i convert kilogram into gram i am converting that into a smaller unit so the first one involves division and the second one involves multiplication so how much is 1.35 kilograms if you convert that into grams you need to multiply that by 1000 so you will get how many 1350 grams that will be the answer in grams likewise if you want to convert milligram into grams like suppose you have 715 milligrams so you have to divide that by 1000 and get your answer 1 gram has 1000 milligrams so 0.715 grams okay that's application of the concept which i told you if you talk about volume then volume has some special units just like area also 1 cm cube is actually 1 cm times 1 cm times 1 cm so if you convert that into millimeters 1 cm has 10 mm right so 10 mm into 10 mm into 10 mm that will give you what 10 into 10 into 10 is 1000 mm into mm into mm is mm cube so you can convert like 1 cm cube is 1000 mm cube 1 liter is actually equal to 
the volume of a cube of side 10 cm so if you multiply 10 cm 10 cm and 10 cm you will get 1 liter and how many cm cubes 10 into 10 into 10 that is 1000 cm cube so 1000 cm cube volume is actually 1 liter of volume and similarly if you see 1 meter cube this is actually 1 meter into 1 meter into 1 meter. Now you can convert that into anything. So that is, if you convert that in centimeters, 1 meter has 100 centimeters. So 1 followed by 6 zeros centimeter cube or see 1000 centimeter cube is 1 liter. So if you cancel 3 zeros, it will become 1000 liters. So 1 meter cube is 1000 liters. Have you seen the overhead tanks on, uh, on houses? The storage water storage tanks they have a capacity of 1000 liters and 1000 liters is one meter cube the same thing works here also larger unit to smaller multiply smaller unit to larger divide so friends i hope you have understood the basics of how to convert the units the interconversions and this video is going to prove very beneficial when you have to solve word problems because in word problems you will have various types of units so you can't have a, a quantity in kilometers one in uh, meters one in centimeters and then apply the, apply the rules to find the answer you'll be totally wrong you have to convert all the units into a single unit so this will prove helpful in watching the next video practicing the content which i provide in the practice worksheet so for detailed practice worksheet of this concept visit this website www.sureshagarwal.in and i have posted the link in the description box below you can see the link just click that it will take you to that page i told you the costing is you can count that on fingers 60 questions with answer key in that practice video somehow if you are not able to download from there whatsapp 9896361963 and go for all the four practice PDFs which I have bought out till now. Friends, do like this video. Do share it with all your WhatsApp groups. Subscribe the channel. Click the bell-shaped icon to get all the notifications. Thanks for watching this and all the best for your practice.